You know, the, the Philippines is uh, no, no, um, among the top soybean producers, no? um, uh, at least in the first decade of uh, from 2000 up to 2010 or so, we were the third or fourth worldwide producer of sardines. No? In the whole Philippines, we have registered 1.7 uh, million of uh, fisher farms and 30% of that, around 618,000 depends on sardines fisheries uh, like that. We have to note that uh, every Filipino eats fish. Sardines is the most uh, eaten kind of fish in the Philippines, which uh, and it is protein needed by Filipinos. The sardines, uh, they, uh, you don't find them in very shallow water unless they're very young. Uh, the juveniles and adults are further offshore in deeper water. And they, they school, they, they school, uh, they form shoals, but because shoals, so they spawn not too close to the shore. The eggs probably uh, take a day, maybe, or, or the most two days uh, before they hatch. Our, our recent findings actually show that they mature in uh, less than six months. We took uh, samples of uh, adult uh, mature, actually those that are ready to really spawn eggs. That means uh, if they spawn in January, then they uh, must have hatched you know, uh, sometime in July or August, the year before. You know? Nets, usually large nets, uh, per se, or circling nets, uh, ring nets. They, they come in many names and many sizes, many modifications, but they're basically nets uh, and they cover a big area. Uh, more and more, they're also used together with light because light attracts them, uh, especially at night uh, during the new moon, for example, or close to the new moon. Yan ang tinatawag na palukso sa local name. In English, drift gill net. Yung gamit nila minsan may gamit silang ilaw lang para makahuli ng isda. Mostly yung kuha nila yung tuloy. Tuloy tabaga. Tuloy tabaga. Naka nakahalo po sila. Halo, halo. At pag nakakuha sila ng ganyan, school of fish talaga yun. Ito po yung tuloy. Sardinella Limoro. Sabi ni Manong, yung, ano, yung commissioner, wag po no daw, 2,000 yung ano, nila bigay. Fresh na fresh po yan. Ito yung sa kabila, ano, lupoy, anong ganito? Ito po yung lupoy, lupoy ma'am, sardines. sardines. Sardines ni siya, oh. Pag, Sardinella is P, ma'am, and yung scientific name. Ito po. One-five yata to yung ano? Palokso din po ito. Palokso din to, makuha. Walong banyera lang. Ito po yung tuloy. Fresh na fresh, tuloy. <laughs> As long as there is something to catch, we will keep on catching, you know, because if I don't get it, my neighbor will. That's part of what we call the tragedy of commons, you know. Uh, nobody's really responsible for it, nobody's accountable for it, and yet everybody's allowed into it, you no? Know? If I can only sell, you know, one box, 40 kilos or 100 kilos, why should I catch 400 kilos? You drive the prices, I know, you drive the prices down, uh, and uh, nobody really benefits, no? Whereas if you let them be for a day or even two days or even a week or so, no? Then uh, other fish would have fed on them. Like, for example, yung galunggong feed on the sardines, no? Uh, yung mga tulingan feed on them also, no? Uh, different extents, of course, no? But uh, if we don't catch them, your neighbor, if your neighbor also feels that way, then uh, you don't catch them, you leave them outside. The other fish will actually catch them and feed on them, and you will catch more of the galungko. Uh, meron tayong fisheries administrative order that makes uh, certain uh, areas in the Philippines, particularly sa Sambuanga and Visayas area, 
na kung saan na predominant yung sardines, during spawning season nila, we implement the uh, closed fishing season. Meaning, dapat ulang uh, walang uh, maging isda doon. Uh, hindi, sila, hindi, hindi sila manguhuli ng, uh, ng sardinas within that prescribed three month period. We call that closed fishing season for sardines. a time na there was there was already overfishing because of the intrusion of the commercial fishing vessels in the Visayan Sea wherein only 10% of the Visayan Sea is only commercial waters or national waters intended for uh, commercial fishing vessels and because of the destruction also of the critical habitat uh, wherein uh, the production of uh, of species in that area is very much affected. That resulted to to massive campaign on uh, our close season for these three species. A close season is just one of the possible solutions that we could use. We could actually impose the size limits for the sardines, especially for those processed ones because they are very easily monitored. Aside from the length of maturity that we could look at, is we could also look at the gears um, that's being used. So for the juvenile fishes, we could look at uh, banning gears or uh, reducing the number of gears that really targets the, the small ones or those that are not yet mature or we could come up at the economic um, level of fishing. So like scientists could look at how the economy is contributing, how the sardines is contributing to the economy. Nito, uh, kailangan natin ng comprehensive management framework para lang mamanit natin maigi ang sardines industry dito sa I just want to emphasize na itong management framework na ito, the industry itself ang mga stakeholders ang dapat nakasali ko. And I think we should make a partnership through a technical working group para mabuo na natin ito at we come up with recommendations that is very acceptable, doable and visible para naman we must have to come up with a national framework plan for the management of sardines in the country. This is important because we all know that sardines react to environmental parameters, which makes them less resilient to overfishing, which is the main problem in our country. So the national framework plan actually identifies the short-term, the medium-term, and the long-term management efforts for the sardines. So for the short-term, we have to come up with the reference limits, we have to come up with the harvest control rules. Uh, harvest control rules is just a regulations on to, to maintain the target that was set and the limit that was also set. And those are mostly regulations and policies. But these are on a short-term basis, so we have to have to come up with medium and the long-term. That includes research that we needed, monitoring plans that we needed, and future policies that we have to come up with. Mm -hmm.